Now, let us discuss about the oscillations of a floating cylinder. For that, let us consider a beaker filled with a liquid of density rho, rho 1. Let there be a liquid of density rho 1 filled in the beaker. Let us consider a cylinder, cylinder or any body, any body floating in the liquid. Let rho be the density of the body. Suppose let P be the point on the on the on the cylinder lying on the surface of the liquid. Now what will happen if you push the cylinder downward with a force? I'll draw that here. Now if you force or if you push the cylinder downward, the point P will be the point P will be inside the liquid surface. Let's say that is somewhere here. This is the new position of the point P. And you can see that the level of the water will rise slightly. Suppose this is the new level. Suppose this is the new level and this, this one is the original level. You can see that there is a rise in the liquid. Now let, let us assume the point Q the new point Q on the cylinder is on the surface of the liquid. Now you can see that this much volume of the cylinder, this much volume of the cylinder is dipped inside, inside the liquid. And this green shaded region is actually the rise in the volume of the, rise in the volume of the liquid. And we know that additional additional volume additional volume of the cylinder additional volume of the cylinder cylinder dipped dipped in the liquid in the liquid that is this additional volume inside dipped inside the liquid is equal to volume of the liquid raised volume of the liquid li liquid raised or you can say displaced clear if you insert some some volume inside the liquid equal volume of water or equal volume of the liquid is displaced let us assume the depth of that x this length is equal to that is pq equal to x which means an additional length of x is dipped inside the liquid surface and let's let its cross sectional area be a then volume of the cylinder is base area into height or if you draw this out it will be like this its cross sectional area is a cross section area is A and the height is X. So the volume will be base area A into X which is equal to volume displaced. Now weight of the liquid displaced, weight of the displaced liquid, displaced liquid you know weight w is equal to, equal to mass into gravity is equal to but mass is equal to volume into density of the liquid is rho 1 times g so this is equal to you already know volume equal to ax rho 1 g ax is the volume so weight w is equal to ax rho 1 g let's call that as equation number 1 but according to Archimedes principle, you can say that you can say that weight is equal to weight of the liquid displaced is equal to buoyant force. Now, if you look at the force in here, the buoyant force is acting upward, Fb. But the weight is in the downward direction so you have to put a minus sign so fb is equal to let's say minus w so fb is equal to w is equal to minus 
ax rho 1 g also from the newtons newtons law we have force is equal to force fb is also equal to mass into acceleration let's call that as equation number 3 any force is equal to mass times its acceleration so you can equate 2 and 3 that is you have mass into acceleration might equal to minus a x rho 1 g or m into d square x by dt square is equal to minus a x rho 1 into g this is equal to d square x by dt square you can take this m to the right side that is a x rho 1 g divided by m and this can be written as d square x by dt square plus taking this whole term to the left and rearranging you can write this as a rho 1 g divided by m x equal to 0. Clear. I am just rearranging all the terms. Now, if you compare this with d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0, this equation actually represents SHL. And our equation, this one, is also similar to the equation of SHL, which means the oscillation of the cylinder executes SHL. And if you compare, this term will be the omega square. Clearly, this equation, these two equations are similar. So, we can say that the oscillation of a cylinder uh, floating in a liquid is in SHL. Comparing, you will get, you will get omega square, omega square is equal to A rho 1 g divided by m. Now, you have to find the mass, mass of the cylinder mass of the cylinder we have this area a and let's take the height of the cylinder as h we have mass equal to volume into density is equal to volume is equal to base area into height into density of the cylinder is rho so a rho 1 g divided by a h rho you can cancel this a and a and this can be written as rho 1 by rho or rho 1 g divided by rho h therefore omega is equal to root of rho 1 g by rho h but omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t where t is the time period which is equal to root of rho 1 g by rho h now rearranging you will get Uh, you can take the reciprocal that is t divided by 2 pi also you have to take the reciprocal on the right side also rho h divided by rho 1 g implies time period of oscillation equal to 2 pi root of rho h divided by rho 1 g so this is the time period of oscillation of a floating cylinder 